Howdy, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this dude move, so let's not waste any time, let's get into this. So I've just inserted this little rig, and I'll add a part, I'll make it neon, I'll make the name be end pose, and I'll shrink it a little bit, because it doesn't need to be too big. Then, don't forget the anchor, I want him to move to that place, that part. So, instead of the rig, I'll insert a script, and let's add a few variables, I'll zoom it up so I don't have to do it in editing, local char equals script.parent. Well, hum equals char dot humanoid local end pose equals game dot workspace dot end pose. Then I can just do test dot wait for hum move to end pose dot position. So when you play the game, you'll see it will just kind of slide there as if he was a statue. And there he goes. Goodbye, little guy. It's because I forgot the move, the two in move to. <laughs> do move to, not move. All right, so now he'll shimmy onto that part. That was kind of janky. Let's make it better. So you might have noticed that he has zero animations. He just kind of slides. I'm going to show you a janky way to get the animations. So I'll just open up Workspace while testing the game. I'll go to RK Games, and I'm just going to copy my animate script. Then I'm going to oh, the rig already has one. Well, we're going to ignore that. Pretend the rig didn't have one. I'm going to insert that animate script. And I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to insert a normal script. I'm going to name it animate. And I'm also going to name the script for animation. I mean, for the uh, walking to be a uh, movement handler. All right. So we have a local script that says animate. And we'll have a server script that has animate. We're going to copy all the stuff from uh, the animate script to the other animate script like this. So just paste that in there. Then open up this and paste it into animate now you can delete this and let's run the game it's going to give us an error saying attempted to index nil with chatted you can just click that and from here to here let's just remove the ability for it to talk because it's not going to need it it's not an actual player and you'll notice now we have actual animations that's an upgrade i want them to walk to multiple points so i'll put one there there and there instead of movement handler I'll just delete this weight. Actually, I'll keep the weight. Why not? And I'll do well true do for I be in game dot workspace that pose get children. So we're getting whatever's in that folder. Do uh, home move to B dot position. And then we'll do home dot move to finished weight. So we can get rid of this when we play this code. He should just walk to all these points. Whoops, end pose is not a valid number. We have to delete this script. All right, script deleted. Let's see what this does. Good to four seconds. He should just start walking around. That's pretty handy. But there's one problem. If you take one of these points and put it about that far away, actually we'll do, yeah, we'll keep it there. See what he does. If it takes him longer than seven seconds to reach that point, he'll just ignore it and go back to wherever he was going because of some stinky Roblox thing, basically. But yeah, he can only walk in a direction for seven seconds. So let's, let's, let's fix that. So I'll just copy this code and do repeat paste until and now this code will keep repeating move to until he gets there. So if I go and place something way out there, he'll actually walk to it rather than giving up halfway. Let's put it a bit further. Let's make this dude work. All right. So that should take way longer than seven seconds to reach. And you'll notice that he'll actually go all the way to do it. Now we can make him walk infinite distances because we hate this guy. Now, this is pretty awesome. This works great. But what if we put a wall in front of that guy and play the game? Well, since Roblox's walking system must be very smart, he'll just go around the wall, right? Wrong. So, we have to use something called pathfinding. Right now, 
Just imagine a line being drawn from this piece to this dude. That's how he knows to get there. There's a straight line. With pathfinding, it will do that line, but they'll be like, oh, there's an obstacle in the middle. So instead of doing a straight line, it will do a V to go around. So let's uh, disable movement handler. We'll add another server script and we'll do advanced movement. So we'll do a little bit of pathfinding now. So let's add our variables. First thing we're gonna add is actual pathfinding. So we'll do local PFC S for pathfinding service equals game hit service pathfinding service. Then we'll get the character. So local char equals script dot current local hum equals char dot humanoid. And we'll do possible destinations. So like the things that are in here are possible destinations. Uh, we'll just do local possible destinations equals game dot workspace dot pose get children. So we're getting whatever's inside of this folder. I'll add another task that way for. Then I can do well true do local destination equals possible destinations math dot random one comma number possible destinations. So this uh, variable will pick a random part from that folder. That's how the NPC will know what to go to. So if there's multiple parts, he'll just walk to random ones. Then we'll do local path equals path finding. So P F S create path. Then I'll do path compute async char dot humanoid root part dot position comma destination dot position. And now we just need to make a loop that will go through all the destinations. So basically, imagine what this is doing is instead of just creating that line, it's creating a bunch of like parts like this. This is basically what pathfinding is doing. And this character will just move to those parts, which is going to lead them around this wall. So we'll just do for underscore comma waypoint in path get waypoints do whom move to waypoint dot position whom dot move to finished wait and if we play or run the game here you'll see this NPC will walk around the wall So yeah, that's pathfinding. You can use that for monsters in your game or, you know, other things, smart NPCs. It's a little jank, and I'll make a, a more advanced tutorial on it. But yeah, and due to the way the code's written, you can just duplicate this part. And, I don't know, you can even make the wall more complex. So we could just make it so this dude actually has to do something to get to these places. So I'll do this. And I'll add one more, because why not? So if we go and run the code, you'll see he'll just navigate to these parts now. On loop. Sometimes he bumps into walls. It's a little jank. But yeah, now you have a system for constantly walking smart NPCs and constantly walking dumb NPCs. So use it as you wish. See ya. That's a really simple tutorial on how to make NPCs move. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to brush your teeth. Have a good day. Oh, and this project will be in the description for anybody that wants it. You don't have to credit me. You could just steal it and uh, make things walk. Yeah.